This session is going to focus on emergency contraception, which is a continuation of the last video that I made. Emergency contraception is indicated where somebody has had unprotected sexual intercourse and there's a risk of pregnancy occurring. So examples will be for a woman who um, has had it um, let's say three weeks, from three weeks after she's had a normal delivery and she's not breastfeeding, or five days after she's had a miscarriage or a surgical evacuation. Uh, it's also indicated when somebody has missed the combined hormonal contraceptive for two days or more, uh, when there's been a delay in um, taking the mini pill for 27 hours, or for um, 37 hours if the mini pill is a desogestrel and also um, if there has been a delay of more than 14 weeks in replacing an implant or the patient or the woman is on an expired uh, subdermal implant. Obviously uh, this will depend on the type of uh, hormonal contraception whether it's the ring or the patch. Once again um, we would say that for most of the combined hormonal contraceptives, for, uh, 48 hours of no contraception uh, is, um, exposes the woman to the risk of an unwanted pregnancy. So what are the options? The options are the intrauterine device, which is the best form of um, uh, emergency contraception. Then you have the um, olipristal acetate, UPA. Uh, which will work for five days, that is 120 hours, and the um, 11 registral, 11 L, which um, is effective for three uh, days, i.e. 72 hours, but you can extend the efficacy up to um, 96 hours, but not more. If a woman is going to go on any of these, if a woman comes in for emergency contraception, then the first option has to be the intrauterine device, irrespective of whether uh, the woman has had a baby or not. If there are contraindications, then you look for other options. If you're referring somebody for the intrauterine device, it would be advisable to start them on the oral emergency contraception because they may not be provided with that. Before you offer any woman uh, emergency contraception, you need to obtain proper information about the timing of the UPSI that is unprotected sexual intercourse and possibly when this has occurred in her menstrual cycle. I relate it to the possible time of ovulation. The reasons are the oral, the oral emergency contraceptives act primarily by either delaying ovulation in the case of UPA, uricrystal acetate, or they inhibit ovulation in uh, the case of the level registril. If you're given the level registril, it shouldn't be in the late follicular phase because it is ineffective. And once you've given the patient's level registril, obviously it inhibits uh, ovulation and therefore the patient is protected for five days. So the first thing is, when did the UPSI uh, take place? It should be, if it's less than five days, then the best option for the patient is a coil if the patient says, no, I really don't want the coil or the IUD, then you look at the oral options. Now for the oral options, you then need to relate that to um, the uh, timing of the menstrual cycle. If it happens close to ovulation, then your oral options are not going to be effective. If you're offering the patient uh, level L, if the woman has got a BMI of over 27 or her weight is high, then you should consider giving her a double dose, which is three milligrams. The standard dose is one tablet of 1,500 micrograms, or 1.5 milligrams. If you're using um, um, ulipristal acetate, UPA, UPA, the dose is 30 milligrams. But remember that if somebody has been on a progestogen only contraceptive or hormonal contraceptive, then you need to be very careful about giving them UPA. Additionally, if they go on UPA, you should not start long-term hormonal contraception for at least five days. If you give them the level L, you can start 
uh, long-term contraceptive immediately irrespective of which one could be the IUD or the combined hormonal contraceptive. Um, in terms of contraindications, you would look at patients who have allergies, who have liver diseases, patients who are taking medications that may interfere with the, um, the, 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 the tablets. If that is the case, you may then have to give them a double dose. Uh, patients that you will struggle to insert the intrauterine device for those women you will want to offer them the oral option. So um, the most important thing is knowing when to start, how long the UPSI episode was, when it happened during the menstrual cycle and what the options are and finally offering the patients long-term contraception. I have not gone into when you do a pregnancy test. Uh, for a patient who comes in for emergency contraception, but it's something that you need to have a look at because sometimes it comes up in the exams. Thank you.